Before assigning crew to a flight for the first time, we need to make sure all of the initial settings are in place. In some of the other videos, I've already mentioned aircraft positions, ratings and all of the other details important for crew setup, but today we'll see a step-by-step -step crew adding process. Once we've added fleet and users to the system, we need to set up the crew positions. We go to the settings and aircraft crew positions. First we need to select the aircraft type and then select all the positions needed for this type and save changes. So for a cockpit we need a captain, first officer and maybe instructor and for cabin crew we can have a flight attendant and maybe some positioning spaces as well. Remember that if you mark this checkbox this position will be available automatically when adding a flight. Okay, once we are done, we can save the changes and now we can assign ratings to particular users. So what we need to do, we need to go to users, select one and in the profile, in the tab ratings, we can assign ratings to the particular aircraft type that we've selected just a second ago. We'll make Thomas a captain. Once that's done, we can click update and add ratings to all the other users. More details on positions and ratings can be found in the video titled Aircraft Crew Positions and Ratings. Once the initial settings are in place, we can go ahead and add a flight. So we go to schedule, add a flight as we would normally do. And now in the tab crew, we can see the list of positions we've chosen to show automatically when adding a flight. We can also add positions by hand by using this option here. The drop down will show all the other positions that we've marked in the aircraft crew position section. If we select one, it will appear in the list. In order to delete a position, we can just click a little bin next to it. Now to add a crew member, simply click here and Leon will suggest all available crew members. You will also see the crew with appropriate ratings but outside of the airport of departure. We can also add crew by hand. This little cross will remove the crew member. Next to each crew member you will see a dot that's either red or green. Green dot means there are no FTL violations for this person and the passport's valid. If the dot is red, that means there's something wrong. In the tab FTL calculations, we can find the schedule and the FTP calculation summary. In the tab passport, we will have the passport details. If it's expired, the date will show in red. We can also add additional information about the crew member and a new passport if needed. Once we are done, we can click save. Remember you can always go back and edit this information at any point. Before the system allows to save the information, it will display warnings regarding the different aspects of the flight, including selected crew members. These warnings contain information about FTA violations, expiring endorsements, missing currency and so on. We can still save the flight by clicking Save Ignoring Warnings. And there we go, the crew has been added to a flight. If a crew member shows on red background on the flights list, it means they need attention. When you hover the mouse over the crew code, you will see a list of warnings and violations if there are any. There is also another way to have crew assigned to a flight. If a crew member has a flying duty added in crew duty section, and then we add a flight in schedule on the same date, the crew will show automatically on the flight. So let's go to crew duty section. And we can see that the three crew members have the duty added for the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of October on the aircraft Sierra Papa India Juliet Kilo Lima. Now if we go back to schedule and add a flight on the same aircraft on the 1st of October, these three crew members will show up automatically. There we go, the flight has been added and the crew has been imported from the crew duty section. This way of assigning crew is most useful for our business clients with ad hoc flights. Airlines and operators who use scheduled flights are welcome to use the crew input table 
which is found under Crew, Crew Input Table. This option allows us to copy four crew teams to many legs at once. So if we click Edit on the scheduled flights and select the crew, all we need to do is just mark the checkbox copy on the legs that we want the crew to be copied to and click save. This option has been explained in detail in the video titled commercial order setup. So now you can see how easily you can assign crew to a flight in Leon. If you have any additional questions, please look up our manual or contact our support team.